In this video, we'll explore the use of web browsers. The preferred browser for Blackboard is Mozilla Firefox. To open that, I'm just going to double click on the icon on my desktop and it will open the application. Um, there are other browsers that you may use. You may use Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari, um, but some features within Blackboard do not work well with those. So therefore, um, if you ever do run into a problem, we'll highly recommend that you move to Firefox as the browser. Oops. Once you open the browser on campus, you'll end up at Mott's homepage. And within there, you can see really what a basic web page is. There are images, there are links, there's a URL at the top, and navigation buttons. So I'm going to go to one of the most popular websites to begin with, which is Google. So up in the address bar up here, I'm going to type in the web address, www.google.com, and hit enter. And now I'm at Google's home page. So here I can type in my search and click on a button. I can click on different links. If I choose to refresh the page, maybe it didn't load appropriately, I can click on the reload button. If it's loading and it's taking too long, I can click the X. You can see that this loads very fast, so I don't have really an opportunity to do so. But what that would do is stop the web page from loading. There's navigation buttons at the top to give you the option of going back or moving forward. So I'll click back. That takes me back to the page that I was on previously. Or if I click on forward, that takes me to the first web or the page that I was on second. I'll go to yahoo.com as an example. And on here you'll see hyperlinks. So for example, you can see um, Obama readying plan to boost jobs and cut deficits. Hyperlinks are normally in blue and they're normally underlined, or at least when you put your mouse over them, they underline. That indicates to you that they are clickable. There are some other things that are hyperlinks as well. Here, these are more like an image, just like up on top. Um, but all of these also link to different pages. But the generic is usually blue underlined, just like what you clicked on to view this video. If I click on the home button, it takes me to my dedicated home page for my um, browser. Now this is something that you define as the browser owner and to do that you go to tools and then you click on options and right there is home page. So you can use current page, you could select something different so if I wanted Google, I can say www.google.com. Click OK, and now Google will be my home page. So I can click on Home, and it takes me right to Google. If I do a search within Google, so learning styles, you can see that it brings up many results, and then I just click on a result, and it takes me to a page. I can add another um, tab if I want. So if I want to open up multiple websites, I can right click on a link, select open a new tab, and then click between the tabs. I'll open up Wikipedia here doing the same. And I've got three tabs open now. So I can just click between them and view the different pieces of content. If I decide to close one of those tabs, I go to the tab and there's an X. I click on the X to close a tab, it's closed, and we're set. If I want to close my browser, I click on the X in the upper right hand corner, or I can click on File and Exit. Sometimes it'll ask me about saving, me, I just want to quit. And there we go. And that is how you use a basic internet browser for researching the web.